Now, example number one, you'll be told to prove the trigonometric identity sine theta over 1 minus cos theta plus 1 minus cos theta over sine theta to be equivalent to 2 cosec theta. Now, to prove this trigonometric identity, we'll start with the left hand side, then we get what is on the right hand side. So, on the left hand side, we have sine theta over 1 minus cos theta plus 1 minus cos theta over sine theta. So, we make this one factor. So, to make this one factor, we get the LCM. So, the LCM is the product of the two factors in the denominator. That is 1 minus cos theta times sine theta. So, 1 minus cos theta goes here, sine theta times, sine theta times sine theta, or you just do cross multiplication on this times this. You get sine squared theta, then that times that, it is plus 1 minus cos theta squared. So, you cross multiply sine theta times sine theta, then plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta, then that times that. Remember, if you have A over B plus maybe, so if this is A, so it means this is A over B, so this one is the same as B over A. So this value is the same as this value, this value is the same as this value. So this is simply A times A, you get A squared plus B times B, you get B squared over B times A, you get AB. That is exactly what we've done there. So the next step is to expand this bracket. So remember, if you have, this is 1 minus cos theta, then squared. If you remember, if you have a minus b squared, a quadratic, that is a quadratic identity. So 1 minus b squared is a quadratic identity. That is, if you have, if you have a minus b squared, that is going to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, when we have 1 minus cos theta squared, where there is 1 a, we put 1, where there is b, we put sine theta. So where there is b, a, we put 1, 1 squared is 1 minus 2, 1 times cos theta, that is 2 cos theta plus b squared. Remember, b is cos theta, so that is cos squared theta. So if you expand that, we are going to have sine squared theta, plus, then the whole of that bracket we found is 1 minus 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta, then everything is over 1 minus cos theta into sine theta. So, you can simplify that value in the numerator then. If you simplify this value in the numerator, remember if you have, if you open this bracket, positive sign does not affect anything. So remember, sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is a Pythagorean identity. If you have sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, that is 1. So it means, it implies this plus that is 1. So 1 plus 1, plus one you get 2, then minus 2 cos theta. So we've simplified the numerator. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. Then that 1 plus this positive 1, you get positive 2. Then, and our minus 2 cos theta. Then in the denominator we have 1 minus cos theta times sine theta. So, we've found in the numerator we have 2 minus 2 cos theta over in the denominator. We have 1 minus cos theta times sine theta. So here you can see the numerator. 2 is a common factor. So if you factorize 2 outside, here you remain with 1. Then here you remain with minus cos theta. Then everything is over 1 minus cos theta times sine theta. So from here, that cancels with that, in the numerator you remain with the 2, over in the numerator you remain with sine theta. So remember, 2 over sine theta is the same as 2 times 1 over sine theta. So what is 1 over sine theta? So 1 over sine theta, the reciprocal of sine theta is cosec theta. So that means it is 2 times cosec 
data. And that is exactly what we were told to prove. So to prove a trigonometric identity, you simply identify the appropriate methodology. If it involves two terms, you first start by looking for the LCM, as we've done in that case.